Hi guys, my name is Archana Raman and I'm a clinical occupational therapist and today we're going to be looking at the tummy time method for babies. So what is tummy time? Um, tummy time is the process of getting your baby into the position where they spend a lot of the time um, instead of lying on their backs, they're going to be spending a lot of their time on their tummies in this kind of a position. Okay, it could be on any surface. It could be on the cradle, it could be on the baby gym, on a play mat, on a floor mat, on the mattress, or on the plain floor. Um, so what is the purpose of having tummy time? Um, tummy time helps your child build strong back muscles, strong neck muscles, and also good core muscles, which are the muscles between this position, uh, sorry, between here and your uh, pelvic floor. So the, you can start tummy time the day you bring your child home from the hospital. By doing tummy time, your child is also going to develop uh, his milestones on time, such as rolling, standing, crawling, uh, lifting the neck up, and so on. So today we're going to look at a few positions in which you can teach your child how to get into tummy time, and also what kind of equipment you can use at home to get your child into tummy time. There's also going to be a part two to this video where I'm going to show you how you can play with your child and encourage different activities to help your child stay in tummy time and sustain the posture for a slightly longer duration. So people ask me how long can you start off uh, for tummy time. Initially you can start off by putting the baby in tummy time for 15 seconds and then you can slowly gradually build the time up like say 20 seconds, 25 seconds and 30 seconds dependent on how your baby tolerates it. So let's have a look at the few positions. Um, the first position is um, you will normally take the child and hold the baby like this. And I'm using a crescent shaped boppy pillow today. Um, I will also show you things that you can use in case you don't have this. Um, even you get fe feeding pillows that are V-shaped like this. This is a smaller version that can be used inside a baby gym. Um, the pillow is kind of um, two inches thick. Now um, you will take the baby and teach the baby to get into tummy time. So the pillow is right under the baby's chest and his arms are in front. The pillow is under the baby's chest. And then you can take something like a maracas and shake it in front of the baby and gently hold the baby's neck and give it a massage so that the baby lifts the head up. Okay, um, so now you just have to praise the baby and give him a cuddle for doing well in this position. So the next thing is in case you don't have one of these, what you can do is take a bath towel and you could just roll it, your bath towel up into a cylinder so that it looks like that and then you could fold it into a v-shape because that will also then resemble something like this and you just put a bath towel or a turkey towel because it's squishy and it's got air pockets inside and gi it gives that nice uh, spongy and squishy effect when the child is on it i'm using uh, pillowcases today because i don't have a bath towel to hand so here we go so we're going to place this here and then we're going to hold our baby and then roll the baby over and put the baby into tummy time so as you can see, the baby's in tummy time now. So for those of you that don't have a bath towel at home, what you can also do is use your own body to get the child into a tummy time posture. You can hold the child like that, sit in this kind of a posture and put the child on your legs. You can also lift the child up and provide some vestibular input because uh, you can see the child is moving and there's some inner ear canal movement that the child is going to get. And for those of you who find it hard to maintain this kind of a posture after a c-section or because you haven't exercised in a while you could lie down and get into this kind of a posture put your baby on there and then lift your legs up so as you can see the child is also on his tummies here i generally tend to give the baby a little bit of a rock like this so that the child also gets some vestibular input and finds it very calming to me in this posture and then you could hold your baby's head up gently as time goes and talk to the baby or sing to the baby in this posture so there's one more posture that we could use stretch your legs out get your baby to sit on the play mat or the floor mat and then rock the baby gently and teach the baby to roll over and lie on your thighs. So you could then take a musical instrument or any other toy that you have and go in front of the baby and gently teach him to lift his neck and his head up. Okay. Um, in case you've just had a surgery or you've got some edema or fluid and your thighs are slightly bigger and you're finding the child uh, that it's your thighs are a bit big to put your child into this posture, you can use your calf as well for this. There's one more posture that you could use. You could get sit cross-legged and then 
put your child across your tummy like this so the neck arms and the head are outside the thighs so these postures are going to help you build strong neck muscles back muscles and what's known as core muscles for the child which is then going to help your child develop his milestones on time i hope you enjoy this video guys um in case you need to contact us for some occupational therapy consultations i'll leave my number down below in the description box my whatsapp or my telephone number um hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this video guys and press the bell notification button uh, to know of any future videos that we're going to post ahead of time good luck guys bye bye